Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, we're discussing some recent changes that have occurred to the code base. These changes are breaking changes, and so may differ from previous tutorials. Eventually, all of those branches will be updated to the new system, but for now, we will look at those changes. The reason why these changes have happened, despite that they are breaking, is because of the upside, in terms of separation of the framework from the location of the user-generated code, which was much greater of importance than maintaining two separate code bases. The other huge advantage is that we can start to explore cross-compilation of the examples into WASM and making it possible to host live versions of the code on websites, all from the same project. The biggest change is that all of the user code should now be written in user.rs, with only the decay part remaining in main.rs, and it's here that you need to update it if you want to change the way the decay occurs. Here, we can see the decay function called prepare next frame, which was previously in place in every frame loop. However, now it is a function which copies from the previous frame, enacting the required decay. We will demonstrate the other new changes by showing the migration of the cascading color wall example. So we see here that all the preparation is performed by a call to a get initial state, which returns a state object. This will be passed to the frame renderer later. And here we see that we can create the struct called color point, which is identical to the one we originally put in main.rs for this project. We also add the vector of color points called droplets to the expected state struct, which is the object returned by the setup code. There is also a variable called fall speed, which we also had on the original code. Here, we can just copy and paste all of the original setup code, making sure to create an instance of the state struct and returning that from this function. Now we can see the function render frame, which passes the frame, fraction, and state objects. We can simply copy the code we had before, remembering to rename the call to image.putpixel to frame.putpixel. Other than that, the code is identical. Running the build system, or cargo run, will then produce the same output as before. The new system works in the same way as the previous system, but the parts where users can put their code is separated into its own module, meaning it will be easier to create new animations. Thank you for checking out this video. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you produce your own animations, please let me know as I'd love to showcase some things here on the channel. For now though, I'll wish you a good day, hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.